Hi guys, it's Thomas. I'm on my way to Chater Garden. So now we're almost uh, at the meeting point. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to exit J2 to meet. This is me on the way and you should be proud because I'm doing physical effort. So ha. As you can see, we started off our journey in the historical Chater Garden, named after Sir Paul Chater. In the early days of British rule, Chater Garden was a part of the Marais Parade Ground. It was originally a sports and recreation center and it became the home to the Hong Kong Cricket Club. In 1975, the Hong Kong Cricket Club moved to Wong Nai Chung Gap. 1978, October 10th, ironically the same day Thrash was, Chater Garden was officially opened to what we know it, as it is today. The old Legco building began its construction in 1900 and opened in 1912. During the Japanese occupation of World War II, it was used as military police headquarters. The structure officially became the Legislative Council building in 1985. Later, in 2015, it reopened as the Court of Final Appeal. So this is Sir Thomas Jackson. He was the chief manager of HSBC at the young age of 35. He is known as the bank's great architect for propelling the bank to the number one spot in Asia at the time. His statue is the only remaining statue in Statue Square, which is right in front of the HSBC headquarters in Hong Kong. So as you can see, this is the cenotaph. It represents the people who died. And it says the glorious dead on the side. Our visit to HSBC. The lions standing guard are named Stefan and Sid after two famous bankers. The inside of the building is drenched in vibrant iridescent violet light and includes a map of the surrounding streets made out of neon lights on the ground floor. The building extends multiple stories high and has no internal supporting structure. On our way down to meet them, but hey, there they are. <laughs> So what did the receptionist say to you guys when you guys asked her what the lines were for? She says that she's kind of busy right now. That's code for, I have no clue. For our second destination, we went to the 10,000 Buddha's temple located in Chatin. The temple was founded in 1949 by Reverend Yet Kai, and it was finally completed in 1957. There are many steep slopes surrounding the temple, and we had to learn that the hard way, hiking up 431 steps of steep stairs. Throughout the temple, there are many statues of varying sizes. Fun fact, the temple actually consists of more than 10,000 Buddhas, despite its name. Last and definitely least, we visited the Hong Kong History Museum. We explored the galleries, learning much more about Hong Kong than we had previously known. We learned that before the British took Hong Kong, it was a small fishing community and a haven for travelers and pirates alike in the South China Sea. To cement our experience, we got on a grounded replica of an old junk used by the Tonga people. The boat was wide and thin, towards the bow, it was shaped like a curved cone, the very tip of the boat holding a small mast. In the center of the vessel, a smooth mass of colored mahogany wood stood firm. In the stern of the boat, a firm, woven tent-like cover forms a little house with a cubby hole to crawl through for inhabiting. The deck of the boat also includes low set tables and interwined baskets as a dining area. So what do you think of the group collaboration? Nobody wandered off and died, so... We used our best skills, for example, Google Mapping. We made a video, right? I mean, despite the rain, we still finished early. 